What is up guys, Ari here from Crypto News and in this video we're going to be having a look at Veracity DRA. They just finished a quarterly burn as you guys can see yesterday. They burnt over $500,000 worth of tokens and we currently saw a pump right after that. So if we have a look on the 4 hour time frame we can see that of course that's when the pump was. Now we're also going to be having a look on the weekly time frame at a technical analysis, coin mark cap, some tracking burning volume right here that's happening and how much you're planning to burn. And that's about it. So obviously following with the news, we know that VRA every quarter, they have a burn that is currently happening, right? And that's exactly what's happening. And if we have a look right here, Veracity completes its first VRA buy back and burn. Okay. So not only do they have a buyback, it's obviously very, very good for uh, the VRA token, right? And it's only going to gain more traction as we move down the road. So if we have a look at Veracity right here on CoinMarketCap, we could see that it is currently ranked 337 with 391,000 people on the watch list. The mark cap of VRA is sitting at $55 million with the volume up $10 million in the past 24 hours, down 1.85%. The price overall is down 1%. 5.36% in the last 24 hours. If we have a look right here at the mark cap, we could see that it's currently on a decline in the last seven days, but in the last, I mean, the last day, but in the last seven days, we could see that it is a nice, quiet uptrend. Also in the last month, we are making a nice little bounce from the all time low, I guess you can say right here. So if we have a look right here at the token burn on VRA, this is crypto. I am going to leave this link in the description below, but we could see right here that this is a VRA token burn stat. And obviously it's going to tell you how much has been burned in the past hour, which has been 0% or zero token. Now in the past day, you could see that Veracity burned 114,443,088 tokens which is equal to $628,000. So I know it said that they burned $500,000, but of course the price increased and I'm assuming this is what it would be right now, right? Uh, since the burn started and in the past week, they burned 777,000 token in the past month, they burned 4.4 billion tokens. So it seems like they're burning way more than what they actually are saying. In the past three months, they burned over 12 billion in the past six months, they burned over 25 billion tokens, which is equivalent to 140 million dollars so that's actually a lot a lot of money and people aren't giving vra enough credit for that i mean look at that in the past 30 days you could see that this thing is just it's it's just gonna keep on going up i mean look at that guys if you have a look since uh the 529 2023 you could see that the burn chart is only gonna keep going up now i don't know if people are burning this um for fun i don't know if people are sending tokens to this address for fun um, but you know, if I send 10 VRAs to this address, that's going to count as 10 VRA burnt, right? Uh, I don't recommend doing that, but of course, I mean, if you want to be one of those person that burns the tokens, I mean, why not do it? That's less supply. And we know what happens when there's a low supply and high demand, the price goes up, right? So we could see right here in the past uh, three months, it's only been going up. And if we have a look at the past year right here, it's currently loading. I believe it's uh, yeah. So in the past year, you could see, I mean, this thing is, is pretty much going up like it is it, it, it's shooting through the roof so it's obviously going to be very interesting to see what happens in the years to come you could see right here these are all the burnt address or all, all the vra burnt token transactions right here pretty pretty interesting to burn a lot of people have asked how do you burn a token well you would simply just send it to this dead address right here um, which is an ethereum address and then pretty much it, it can never be withdrawn and the reason why it can never be withdrawn is because no one really has access to that address uh, right here. So when people do, you know, when ERC20 tokens do essentially burn, uh, they pretty much send it to this address and it's pretty much gone forever. So that's what's happening right now for uh, Veracity. I think that on the technical analysis wise, it's looking pretty, pretty clean. Um, as you guys can see right here on the First of all, I do want to talk about the volume real quick before I look at this. Not only do we have a breakout, which could be a fake out, but we did break this downward trend line in terms of volume and can be the can this be the start that the volume starts to increase to the upside? Essentially, can we see an uptrend from here on VRA? So that's obviously going to be very, very interesting to watch right here. I mean, we know we also broke the downtrend right here on the weekly time frame. 
in this level. So if we manage to break above this level, that's going to be also very, very interesting. And we could see a massive move to the upside. Now, a lot of people complain, oh, veracity is down. I mean, it's dead. Now, like I said, guys, multiple, multiple times when you're going to have a pump that's over 450%, it's most likely going to be led with a correction. Now, it might not seem like it on the weekly time frame or on the monthly time frame, but on the daily, it's way more noticeable and it seems like the coin just died. I mean, you could see right here, people look at the four hour and they're like, oh, veracity is dead. It's crashing. It was a pump and dump. This is not a pump and dump. This is a pump followed by a correction. OK, a pump and dump is when you see this and then coming down right down within the same day or the next day. We've seen it multiple, multiple times. Okay, if I have a look at this coin, this is a pump and dump, okay? Got listed on an exchange, it was going up and then it essentially dumped, okay? Veracity is not a pump and dump. Just because something goes up and consolidate doesn't mean it's a pump and dump, okay? When you're gonna have a pump, you're usually gonna have a correction followed by consolidation or consolidation followed by correction or a dump or anything like that. So. Um, it's not clearly a bump and dump. It's only a matter of time before we explode. We also need to keep in mind that Bitcoin hasn't been performing the best, um, except, you know, for this area right here, we did have a nice little uh, rebound off this level right here. But overall, guys, Bitcoin is still sleeping, in my opinion, until Bitcoin breaks thirty two thousand dollars. I'm not going to be so bullish on it. And as you guys can see, Bitcoin, yes, it did make an all time high to thirty one thousand five hundred. But we still have not broken over thirty two thousand dollars. So that is my quick video, guys, on VRA. If you guys like this video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, leave a like, and I will see you guys in my next video.